I'm going to get you. Anyway, hello today. Uh, it's your gay shark. And today I've done something a little different with my hair. As you can see, I've decided to part it, put a little poof here and then part it here instead of in the middle. And I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I think it looks a little weird. More girlish than normal. My hair is still wet from the shower. So anyway, I'm wearing blue again, but this time it's buttoned. Anyway, I wanted to talk about um, crushes. I wanted to talk about um, Marcus Bachman. I wanted to talk about um, just being random today. I, I don't know. Well, uh... Let me go ahead and start it off with crushes. Who, I want to ask everyone, who is your first crush? You know, was it a celebrity? Was it a neighbor kid? Was it somebody at school? Um, I will share with you my very first ever crush. Now, you may all be thinking, oh, was it a woman? Was it a man? I don't know. But here, I'll share with you. Oh, good Lord. I'm so sorry, guys. It's Facebook again. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do something. I need to get a camera. I need to... I need something because this is just crazy. I, I just... Uh, it's so weird. So anyway, yeah. My very first crush ever was to a boy in fourth grade. And I carried this crush all the way to high school. And you may all be thinking, oh, no. Okay, now I first noticed this kid um, uh, when we, uh, I think it was, um, it was like this book club thing that we got whenever we were in school. You got this like flimsy piece of paper, uh, flimsy pamphlet paper and it had a whole bunch of book titles in to get you interested into reading and well, they had these underwear, if you want to call it that. They were like boxer briefs or boxer shorts or something. Well, he ordered it, and then the day came that the books would arrive, and of course my book didn't come, so I was, I was okay with that. But, um, but we were still poor, so I mean, I only got one book. Well, you know, I was okay with not getting my book because it... it uh, it did later come, like I think like a month later. But anyway, uh, he decided, because they were one size fits all. <laughs> so, um, w w what we all know is one size fits most. Anyway, um, he decided instead of, you know, putting them on the normal way in class, well, at least in class you didn't get away with that. But, I mean, he decided he was going to put them on his head and that's when I noticed him. I mean, that first time I ever noticed him was in fourth grade, Miss Elam's class. And yeah, I was smitten. So uh, I carried this crush all the way until high school. And Chad, he never, he, he never knew I was different. Um, but See, I was, when I was younger, and in most of my high school life, I was known as a retard. Uh, I was in special education. Uh, I had a learning disability. I still do. Uh, I, I still have trouble learning certain things. Um, but every time that I tried to uh, test out a special education, they would never give me the exam. They would never, you know, let me get out. Even though I knew the material, they would never let me out. So, around the time of middle school, from I think it's like 6th to 8th grade, I had a teacher in special education. Uh, we decided, it was starting to go into the whole locker phase instead of the cubbyhole phase. So, we had lockers and everyone had those combination locks. And my mom decided instead of us getting a combination lock where we would have to we would lose the combination or it would be very troublesome to get into. She gave us padlocks with keys. My teacher said no. And I'm so happy that she said so, said something to my mother. She said, okay, if in a week I cannot get these kids to learn the combination, 
they can have the padlocks. So every single day during that week, we'd have the key. And uh, she would teach us the combination to our locks. And I couldn't figure it out in the very beginning because my mind was going, is it left or is it right first? And then go back or is it... My mind just couldn't grasp it at the time. So she worked with us all week. And finally, um, I think it was like Wednesday or something, I finally got it to work. I, I mean, I opened it, I got it to work, and I was just undoing it every single day. And every, even during recess, I would just be fiddling with it and, and getting it to work. So by Friday, I passed, and I got to keep my combination lock, and I told my mom, here, here's, here's this. And, you know, we kept the locks. I still have the key. Um, I wonder where I put my keys. And I keep that as a memento of saying, yes, I can do anything. And around the 10th grade, because I, they would, they still wouldn't let me, you know, out in seventh or eighth grade, though I did finally get into normal math classes uh, by sixth grade. I, I went into normal math classes and my math teacher was like, look, you can do the work. Oh my God, you know, and Chad was in there too, so. And I'm probably rambling on, and I've completely gone from crushes to a deep well of hate for public schools. But anyway, um, Chad was in my class, and every single time in math class, we would um, get paired up. I'd be like, hey, Chad, do you want to group up? And he'd, he'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm already grouped up. And I was like, okay. So, um, me... And my other friend, um, Derek, we would, you know, get paired up almost every single time. And then I decided um, I wanted to tell him my secret. So I told him. And I think three months later, he had a transfer. Um, his parents left uh, the state. And I pretty much haven't seen him since. And so I... Out to Derek, if you if you remember me, um, thank you for keeping my secret. Anyway, um, pretty much I went all the way through high school. I didn't graduate, as you may all think. Oh, yeah, he got No. I left high school. Uh, I went to Job Corps to finish my education. Um, there were complications I could talk about later, but um, I never saw Chad uh, for couple of years. I went to Job Corps for two and then immediately from Job Corps I went to ITT and I spent four years there. Uh, four years, three months. Four years and three months. So, so I spent that time there and I decided I wanted to make a Facebook page and I put my Lone Oak High School in as you know one of the public schools I went to and then he instantly popped up. So I'm thinking oh my god this is fate you know like he's there but See, I've ha I've kept this crush, and I'm I. He's the cutest, you know. I wouldn't say kid. He's the. <sighs> anyway, yeah, he's he's hunky. Anyway, uh, yeah, he was very nice to me. He's probably the only person who was nice to me personally, in public school. So, that's what that is, and um, yeah. So I think around. Um, no, I think it was my, the end of my bachelor's degree. I found him on Facebook and, um, I told him and I felt so nervous. I was getting red and like shaky while I was creating the message on Facebook, which is so weird. So I created the message and I sent it to him and I waited and waited. So three days go by essentially and he replies. So I'm like, oh my God, he replied. And so I open it and I start reading it and then I'm getting even smaller and smaller and smaller. So I, I was hoping he was like me, but it didn't happen like that. And then um, he's engaged, I think right now to this gorgeous woman. And I told her in a message, a private message, I'm gonna tell you guys anyway, cause you guys are awesome. I told her, you better keep this one because I would snatch him up in an instant. Um, so this vlog is already, I think like 10 minutes long. I'm going to keep going though. 
I know you guys like my extremely long vlogs. But anyway, I wanted to talk about Marcus ba uh, Bachman uh, and how insane this man is. Uh, of course, I get most of my information about Marcus Bachman from the Unicorn Booty, or at least the gay stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what's um, been going on with uh, my life, and now we're going to Marcus Bachman. Um, apparently, where is he? Marcus Bachman, here's the, here's the headline, Marcus Bachman gays it up in the New Yorker. Um, so apparently, uh, there's a little excerpt from a published, uh, thing from Ryan Lisa's piece about M uh, Michelle Bachman's political pose, uh, that was in the New Yorker. And they have this excerpt, a couple of excerpts, um, from him, but these are the bolded ones. Oh, don't tell me it's something gay, he said, because I've been called that before. Okay. And then, um, apparently he's been known as the sil it's the silver fox, he, or something. I don't know what the heck this silver fox thing has been coming from, but, ugh. Anyway, this is my favorite. Oh my goodness. You guys are so quick and so sharp and completely so far just until I get to know you long enough and then you might even, I might even tell you the truth. He pauses, which I'm really afraid of. So anyway, there's my Marcus Bachman thing. <laughs> so that's what I, uh, and I posted like this, like this little cat smile on the post and I don't think anybody else has posted since but uh, I think it's hilarious Marcus Bachman is either extremely gay and hiding it with his beard Michelle Bachman or he's a metrosexual now that means he loves getting his nails done he loves getting his hair done he's very fashionable um, you know he takes care of himself very well acts extremely gay and what I mean by extremely is he's a flamer and not a fairy flamer is a fairy is over here and then you transcend to flamer so anyway yeah anyway I'm just I'm weird today this is probably one of the longest vlogs I've ever done um, I think it's like I don't even know I think it's like 15 minutes right now it's weird <laughs> So I wanted to I wanted to ask you guys, um, what do you guys think about Marcus Bachman? Is he gay? Is he straight? Do you think he's a metrosexual? Do you think he's bisexual? I mean, what do you think of him? And do you think of him at all? Um, uh, so pretty much, I wanted to leave you with that. And um, uh, it is I, I don't even know if I gave you the date. It is August tenth, and. In five days, in five days, I will be turning 26. Ew. So anyway, uh, um, it's a little weird. Uh, I don't want to turn 26. I want to stay young. I want to stay pretty, however pretty this is, because this doesn't look pretty to me. Um, I want to be thin, but I get to be wide. Anyway, I'm a little weird. I'm, I'm, I'm moody. It's because of the weather. It's so happy. Anyway, it's been, it's been rainy and it's beautiful and I'm happy. It's cool. I don't have to run the air conditioner as much. I don't have to run my fan as much, but I run it full blast because if the sun does pop out, I don't want to be caught off guard. So there's that. And, um, yeah, um, I don't want to turn 26. Leander, I know you're probably watching this. Help. I don't want to turn 26. So anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, have a very good day. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And that isn't much. So anyway, bye everybody.